Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Before I get into my video, I want to uh, mention two things. Uh, the first, and I know there are other uh, members of the card community who have brought this up over the last couple days in their own videos, but I wanted to uh, give a shout out in this video as well. Most of you have been familiar with Wildcat 72 Cardboard or Scott. Um, his channel, I think, has been around for like seven years. I think he had seven or 800 subscribers. Well, I believe it may have been around Thursday or Friday. I guess YouTube notified Scott that they were taking down his channel and deleting all of his videos. I'm not sure why YouTube would, would do this. I, I think I heard maybe someone say some accusations of spamming or something. I, I just have a hard time believing that. Uh, I've interacted with Scott pretty much since I've been on YouTube for the past two years. In fact, I nominated Scott's channel for the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame this year. All he does is make videos about his sports cards. What he has in his collection, recent pickups, uh, going to different shows. Every time he's interacted with me in comments, it's very polite, positive. I just don't understand it. But at any rate, I know Scott has been devastated uh, because of this. I mean, seven years of making videos. I know all the work that I've put in, and I've been just doing this for two years. So for Scott to put all that time and investment into these videos, showing off his collection, interacting with the community, all to be shut down like that. Um, Scott, I, I, I feel for you, but the good news is he has formed a new YouTube channel, and it is called I Love Sports Cards. So I'm going to put a link to his new channel in the description of this video. I'm asking all the members of the card community to gather together, go visit his new channel, subscribe, check out his videos. I believe as of this recording, uh, he's already up to like 150 subscribers. I know a couple people said, hey, let's try to get him to 100. I, I have a goal. I want everyone out there to go visit Scott's channel. It just great down to earth guy. Subscribe to his channel. I want him to see, to get... 500 subscribers in a matter of a couple months. Um, he, he, I think, I, like I said, I think he had seven or 800 subscribers when YouTube took his channel down. So I'm reaching out to all members of the community. We, we look after our own, and I'm hoping that uh, Scott can take this opportunity to show off some of his cards that he did five, six, seven years ago. Because honestly, since I've been on YouTube for two years, I probably haven't seen most of his videos. So Scott, we're with you. Um, we're here to support you and looking forward to seeing new videos, maybe of older cards that you had previously shown off, but maybe ones that we haven't seen or at least seen recently. So again, uh, description to his channel or the link to his channels in the description of this video. So please go check out Scott's channel. I love sports cards. Watch some of his videos. I think he's already started posting about 10 videos. Um, and if you were a previous subscriber to Scott under Wildcat 72 Cardboard, definitely resubscribe to his new channel. All right, so that's the first thing. The second thing is I wanna thank everyone for all your great comments on my previous video about uh, do I still collect Wade Boggs cards? And if you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link to that video at the end of this video here. But uh, the reason why I bring this up is I normally try to uh, reply to, to comments in a fairly quick time period. You maybe, maybe it goes a day or so, but, but try uh, to comment pretty quickly. Well, I, I want to apologize for like my delay in replying to some of your comments. Um, late Friday into Saturday, I caught the stomach bug, flu, whatever, and I was just wiped out like pretty much all day Saturday. It was not pretty. Uh, and also the weekend is typically my time to get caught up on watching your videos. 
and so I'm behind with that as well. So uh, I'm gonna have to be doing some catch up in, I think I'm all caught up on my comments, uh, but I'm definitely behind in watching some videos and I know there's some I saw on my feed that I really wanna watch. Uh, so I, I may not have an opportunity because I want to watch, there's a lot of them I want to watch. I may not have the time to, to, to specifically make a comment on everyone's videos, but I can guarantee you that every single video that I watch, I will be giving a thumbs up because I love all you guys' content. So uh, with that, again, thanks for the comments. Uh, appreciate you understanding me being a little bit delayed uh, in responding to your comments and I will be catching up and watching some of your great videos. All right, <clears throat> so the purpose of this video, I've been collecting Topps short print image variations of Hall of Famers now, I think for maybe six months. And from my checklist and what I've researched, uh, Topps started doing this in 2009, all the way through 2018. 21, and I'm sure there are some in the 2022 product that just came out. And up to this point, it's just been a random, as I see stuff on eBay, picking up something here, something there across various years. There's just no rhyme or reason. If I see a card that's reasonably priced and I don't have it, I try to pick it up. Well, it was about a week or so ago, I had picked up a I forget which one it was, but it was a 2017 Topps Update short print image variation. And I was when I was cataloging it in my you know, checklist, I noticed that I was only missing one card out of the 2017 Topps Update to complete all the Hall of Fame short print image variations. Luckily, there weren't any super short prints that I know of uh, in 2017 Topps Update. So I quickly looked for that card. It had been one that I sort of had passed over. I'd seen it before. It's not super rare, uh, but it was on the you know the higher price point. And so I said I can you know I'll I'll worry about it later. Well, I went found one for a reasonable price and got it. So now I have the complete run of 2017 Topps Update short print image variations of Hall of Famers. Um, I've been, you know, working on reg PSA registries of the my vintage cards. I'm two cards short of getting all the Hall of Famers from 1978 tops. That's the closest sort of complete registry, if you want to call it, or set uh, that I've been able to do. So this is really special for me. Uh, you know, it's always nice when you have a collecting goal. And you're able to meet like a target. Now, I don't have all of 2017, right? So I don't have a complete year, but I just wanted to, you know, show this off, celebrate a little bit uh, to say that I at least have a mini run of one of the series, Tops Update, that I have all the Hall of Famers for. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show off my complete run of 2017 short print image variations of Hall of Famers. So let's go take a look. Okay, well, there are 26 short print image variations of Hall of Famers in 2017 Tops Update. So just going to do this in numerical order. So the first one is Ernie Banks. Next one, actually the same card number, but a different version. We have Ryan Sandberg. Next one, I showed this off uh, fairly recently, the uh, Ted Williams. Then we have Eddie Murray. Love this one. Johnny Bench. Ozzie Smith. The great Jackie Robinson. George Brett.
Reggie Jackson. And again, this is what the uh, backs look like on the 2017 uh, set. Uh, they don't have the full career stat breakdown, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, don't care as much for the backs, although it's nice to have the full career stats of a player. So uh, I think all but two years uh, do that. All right, next we have Roberto Clemente. And this is the card uh, that completed my run that I needed. And again, just held off just because of the, especially what some people were asking for, what I normally had been paying. But uh, I got this one, I guess, on the lower end of what they normally have been selling for. So it's not bad. Uh, but it's the Ken Griffey Jr. playing cameraman. Next we have... Nolan Ryan. Greg Maddox. Babe Ruth. Really like that image. Mike Piazza. Another card where they have the ball being tossed in the air a little bit, like Maddox, uh, John Smoltz. Barry Larkin. And Sandy Koufax. And the last group. Carol Ripken Jr. Derek Jeter. Hank Aaron. Love that image. Someone pointed out uh, when I showed this one off uh, after I picked it up that they think this is the corrected version of the image from his, was it 1957 tops? That's the, the reverse negative. Uh, they think this is the corrected version of that exact image. I, I didn't compare the two. I don't have that card, uh, but I didn't look it up, but it, it sort of looks like it could be uh, that corrected version of his reverse negative 57 tops image. And we have Chipper Jones, not too many uh, parallel or, uh, or horizontal images in 2017 tops update, but there's one. Lou Gehrig. Pedro Martinez. Ricky Henderson. This may have been the one uh, that I realized that I was only, only one card short. I think I showed this off recently uh, with him running with, uh, you know, blowing a bubble. Uh, just Ricky being Ricky, um, running the bases while casually blowing a bubble. Um, so this may have been the one that, uh, again, realized I was only one card short of the run. And then finally, human vacuum cleaner, Brooks Robinson. So there you go, the entire complete, as, as of now, until in the future, if there are other um, new members of the Hall of Fame that have a, a short print image variation 2017 tops update, uh, that is the complete run. Let me know in the comments which one of these uh, cards you like the the image of the, the most, or you know, again, which ones you like. And again, 
Do, don't forget to check uh, the description of this video for Scott's um, new channel, the link to his new channel, I Love Sports Cards. Uh, let's really support a uh, fellow YouTuber. That's all I have for you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.